Hey, I'm really excited today. I get to talk about hats. It's one of my favorite things. And today we're gonna look at this Tilly T3 Wanderer. So stick around. Hey, welcome back everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we are gonna talk about that T3 Wanderer. I got it in the mail two days ago. So I'm gonna give you some first impressions on it. But uh, let's just get a little business out of the way. I want to let you know about uh, the channel and where we're headed. We are um, right in the middle of camping season, or camping season has started. We're not in the middle of it. We've got a long way to go. But the exciting thing about that is not only are we going to be able to do um, a lot more of the, the videos kind of showing you and sharing our adventures, but uh, we did a lot of product research over the winter and uh, bought a few things that we thought were really going to help us out a lot while we're out uh, there on the road and, and camping and stuff. So we're gonna have a lot more product reviews, um, demonstrations, how-tos, things like that coming up on the channel. If that's something that's interesting to you, and I hope it is, uh, please click the subscribe button. And if you hit the bell notification or the bell icon, you'll get notifications uh, when we upload new videos. We try to do that weekly, uh, usually on Fridays, sometimes Saturday, it just depends on, on our schedules and what we've got going on. Um, so anyway, now that that's out of the way, uh, we're gonna get to the review. All right, so first, just a little bit of a backstory. I love hats. I mean, I really love hats, and I have a whole lot of hats. Many, 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 many hats. Too many hats, some would say, like my wife. Um, not enough, others would say. Um, well, probably not anybody, but uh, anyway, I have a lot of hats. The problem is, um, I really needed a good outdoor adventure type hat. So after our last hiking trip, uh, we got home and I turned to Katie and I said, wife, very sorry, but I'm going to buy yet another hat. Um, and it's probably going to be kind of expensive. So she rolled her eyes and said, okay, let's do it. Um, if, as long as this is the last hat you'll buy for a long time, which I agreed to. So here we are. Um, I did a lot of research, one brand, really, really came up time and time again as far as quality, durability, and uh, value for the money. And that was Tilly. They have a lot of different styles that serve a lot of different purposes, but I ended up choosing this one, which is the T3 Wanderer. And this really is an all around general purpose, outdoors, hiking, camping kind of hat. So let's talk about a few of the features of this particular model. The very first thing that I noticed was the, the quality. When I pulled it out of the box, the quality of the hat, um, I could feel it in, in my hands. It was really great. If you ever get your chance, if you ever get a chance while you're out at a store and you see one, just pick it up. You'll see exactly what I mean. It's a thick canvas material, um, but not quite canvas material. And um, it's very lightweight, so it's not as heavy as you would think it would be, uh, which means that it sits very well on top of your head. It's very comfortable. Uh, the material is water resistant, um, which I went and tested out. I, I poured some water on it, I put it under a sink and let the water run right off it. You could see that it wasn't collecting or soaking in, it was actually just running right off the hat. The other thing that they do is they put a little bit of foam in here and up at the top and that makes the hat float. So if you ever drop it in the river or lake or wherever you're at, um, it will float along for a while. I think eventually it will sink because it's not waterproof and, and it will take on water, but I feel it will take a long time before that happens. Um, pretty standard stuff. It's got the grommets up here, which give you the ventilation. You get air, throw, air flow going through and um, that's pretty nice. Now, uh, they used to put screens in, in here. These grommets don't have screens in them but Tilly will uh, put it in for you if you ask them to. So if you order from their site and send them a, a message, they'll do it. Or if you send them the hat um, and ask them to do it, they'll, they'll also take care of that for you. The charge I believe was $15. Now, I'm sure you could put screens in here yourself if you really wanted to. I'm not worried about it. It's not going to make a difference for me, I don't think. And if it does, I'll put screens in it. Um, the Wanderer also has the sides that snap up. Each side can snap up here, and uh, that will give you increased visibility in your peripheral here. And it will also kind of stiffen up the brim of the hat. So 
if you're on a fast moving open air watercraft or ATV or something like that, then then absolutely this will this will help out. Or you know, just if you need that increased vision, uh, put them down and you have sun protection all around. Which is one of the big things I liked about having a full brim hat like this is you get the the sun protection all around. You keep the sun off the back of your neck and off your ears. Um, Tilly hats are UPF rated, which is ultraviolet protection factor. So they're UPF rated at a 50, which is the highest rating that they give for UPF, um, which will keep all the, the harmful sun rays off of your skin, or at least, you know, where it's covered by the hat, which is nice. The hat also features a secret pocket, and there's really not much you can put in there. Uh, maybe some cash, an ID, um, something like that just in case you need it. I've got so many pockets on me anyway at any given time that I'm not gonna use it for anything except for storing the um, chin strap in there, which is actually a, a super nice feature because the other hats that I've owned of, of this kind of style, um, the chin strap just stays down. If you try to tuck it up, it you know it gets real obnoxious, it rubs on your head or it just doesn't work, it's very uncomfortable. So they've done a great job with this. Um, Speaking of the chin straps, these things are great. I love the design of this. There's two of them. Uh, well, there's one chin strap, but another strap in the back. So this piece goes along the back of your skull here and holds it into place. It's, um, you can tighten it with this fisherman's knot they have. And then this piece goes right here below your neck. So along with the, um, the hat being fitted to your head, the chin strap and the um, skull strap in the back Keep it very, very secure. It's um, This is not gonna blow off your head. I mean, maybe in a tornado, but I'm not gonna test that out. This hat is crushable, which means that you can crush it, <laughs> right? Um, what it means is you can wad it up, you can fold it up, you can do whatever you want, stick it in one of your pockets, stick it in a suitcase, and um, it's going to retain its shape when it comes back out. So that's super nice um, and important for me because this is a travel hat and I'm going to be taking it a lot of places. And there are going to be times that I, I may want to take the hat off or store it somewhere. I'll shove it in a glove box, I'll shove it in a, a pocket of my cargo shorts or something. And um, I want it to still look nice, still retain its shape and not have the brim all creased and folded like a lot of the other hats um, get when you fold them up. So that's a really great feature. So this label here means it, it is an authentic and genuine Tilly hat. And what that really means is that they'll that it's covered by their guarantee. They have um, a lifetime guarantee on the workmanship of their hat, on the the quality of it. As long as you register the hat when you buy it on their on their website, no matter where you bought it from, make an account, fill out a few pieces of information about the hat and where you bought it from, and then it's it's there for life. So, um, you know the the internet is filled with people talking about. Um, their Tilly hats and how they've had them for you know 10 years, 15 years, uh, some people even 20 years that they've had these hats and when they wear out eventually Tilly replaces them. Um, and some people have said that, that theirs haven't worn out at all. So they, they absolutely stand behind their company um, and their products. The company absolutely stands behind their products and um, they've been around for 35 years. So. I, I feel safe in making this purchase. Um, and this was a purchase I made. I bought the hat myself with my own money. Um, I purchased it from moosejaw.com. I think I paid about 85 bucks for it. Um, and I feel like that was a good purchase because just the minute I picked up the hat, I knew it was a good quality hat. Um, backed up by everything I read about Tilly and their commitment to standing behind their product, I knew that if it did ever go south, I'd get, um, I'd get a replacement hat. So felt like a safe bet to me. So now we've talked about all the features of the hat and um, kind of given you my impressions on it, but how does it feel, right? Well, let's put it on and find out. And there we go. So now that it's on, it feels great. I will tell you that um, when, when I put it on for the very first time ever, I was a little disappointed because it was not very comfortable. That was mostly my fault. The, um, the hat itself uh, has, has the straps like I mentioned before. I had tucked them up in a weird way where they made kind of a, a netting um, on top so it wasn't letting the hat fit on my head fully the way that it should be. 
So once I got that fixed, it was fine. Um, it was, it, it did feel a little weird because these are fitted hats, um, and, and I'm not used to that. But uh, after a couple minutes, I got used to it and it was super comfortable. I wore the hat all day for almost 24 hours straight and it was amazing. I never wanted to take it off. I never felt the need to. So I thought that was uh, pretty amazing. I'll never, uh, I feel like I'll never get out there on the trail and, and not want to be wearing this hat. Now these are sized hats. So I think mine is like a seven and uh, three eighths, two eighths, I don't know, three eighths it would be. Anyway, whatever it is, I'm not used to that. And I did read that if you um, need to size your hat, don't go by your typical hat size. Go ahead and, and go to the Tilly's website. They have a measurement tool, um, a little calculator. You, you measure the circumference of your head. They'll tell you where to put it. And then you plug in the number and they'll tell you the hat size. I think their hat sizes run just a little differently from the standard. So as long as you use their online measuring tool, then you'll get the right size for you if you're purchasing a Tilly hat, no matter where you purchase it from. So I'll put that link in the description below. Um, but like I said, the hat's very comfortable. I love it and I am super excited to go use it. Um, I really wanna see how it, how it works out there. I wanna see how it stands up in the wind. I wanna see how it stands up in, in heavy rains and um, with the sun beating down on you all day long and kind of get an idea of, you know, um, I really think it is gonna last, but I wanna see. So maybe at the end of camping season, I'll check back in, we'll do another video and I'll do a quick review of the hat or a quick um, update on the hat and let you know how I like it. If I still love it, if uh, I feel it's holding up and if it's really offering all the, the weather protection and comfort that I think it's going to. So with that, I'll go ahead and wrap it up. I hope I didn't take up too much of your time, but I do hope you found the review informative and at least somewhat entertaining. Uh, if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We would really appreciate that. And like I said at the beginning, um, please subscribe to our channel. Click the bell notification. You'll get updates on when we upload. We try to do it weekly. And uh, we, we do have a lot of, of great stuff coming up. Um, also, leave us a comment. Let us know uh, what you thought about the review. If you have any experience with Tilly hats, let me know about that. If you have other hat styles, brands, things like that, that you think are worth mentioning, let me know. Um, I don't know that the wife will let me buy another hat anytime soon, but um, I'm always willing to try and, and make that happen. Or any other products that you want to see us do a review or how to on, uh, we'd love to do that. So anyway, leave us some comments, uh, thumbs up, subscribe if you like to. We really appreciate it. And until next time, we hope to see you soon.